Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. This is right where we left off last time. I got to thinking, we didn't set any of those bugs for Butcher. And knowing the, the local uh, scavengers around here like this dude, <laughs> they're going to be swooping in, oh look at that, and uh, eating our dinner. So, they're, 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 their role in the game is to clean up our messes, but I think we need to clean up our messes this time. So who's out here? Um, Edmund is almost finished there, but he's the closest. Why don't you come spook this guy off? Let's see. I could have you... Why don't you come over and observe? Sure, and that would still spook this guy off. So who's around? Carter is handling a furnace. Carter, can you come in here and butcher five of those? And what other names are floating in there? Rita is harvesting, bringing in dinner. If you're going to do that, let's have you harvest that one, too. Okay, so I'll leave you alone. Simon is researching. You can come out and help out. Uh, why don't you start at this end and grab oh, five from, from the back of the pack there. And Paulette. Right there. Come on out and grab the middle. Uh, maybe there. 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 There you are. Um... What do we got that's left? Butcher, not not assigned activity. I'm not sure what that means. Um, maybe? I don't know. But somebody get over here and chase this guy away. He's uh, whoa! There's another one. Yeah, they know where the uh, where the where the dead bugs are. Yeah, you guys hop out of here. Thank you. We'll observe you later. I wonder if we can tame one of those. Wouldn't that be interesting? It'd be kind of loud, though. A lot of screeching going on all around us. So, that is Simon. That is Paulette. Oh, that was music. Sound like a dragon was coming in behind me. <laughs> Alright, so the butchering is going on and some observing is going on. Um, Rita is handling the furnace. And you left your pumpkins. Rita, why don't you work on food? Go ahead and harvest that, and maybe I can get you to haul those in. Or I can just say, when you're done, I'll haul that in. Okay, I'm going to work you guys late tonight. But let's get this done before they either rot or are eaten. We can make some meat soups out of this. And if we can get fuel fermentation fast enough, we might even get a, uh, a gallon of, of, of fuel out of it or two. Alright, so you guys, well, am I going to need to babysit you? I bet you I am. We'll see how this goes. New resource coffee. Ooh. No, not there. I want to read it. A soothing beverage that restores some rest. That's all you're going to tell me? Okay. I thought we already... Oh, coffee was just made. Not that we researched it. That's what we researched. Um, I don't think we read this last time. Grain is known to have some stimulative properties when properly tempered with. Cereal coffee is not as a, as good stimulant as the common coffee, but does restore some energy in the tired body, and it will slightly improve consciousness, movement, and manipulation. All right, so we've got some coffee available to us. So Rita is going to finish off that job there. Oh, she already got that. She's picking them up. Great. So you're bringing ADN. And who is bailing on me here? Well, Simon is transporting. That's fine. Paulette is butchering. Carter's butchering. And we'll leave one here for Edmund to finish up. Hopefully that works out. And Carter, you can... Which one is Edmund looking at? Carter, come over here. At least that one. And butcher, butcher those. Try to leave one behind for Edmund to, to finish his job. I have a feeling that's his, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Is he leaving? No, no, he's just thinking about it. Yeah, so you observe this one. You're not getting off that easy. Carter, you can do this one, then I'll stop you. Oh, you're going to do that, okay. Then, Edmund, you can observe this one. There you go. We'll make that work. All right, so I think that was all of them. I think so. All right, so 
Are you going to... Why don't you haul these in? Hopefully you grab that one too. And we'll let Edmund finish his job there. Okay, so plans for to this episode basically is just to get ourselves as caught up as possible to where the other series so abruptly ended. Um, let's make sure that Edmund finishes that. Uh, Paulette is eating. Simon's sleeping. Rita's sleeping. And at this point, poor Edmund is just kind of by himself over here. But I didn't want to put a third uh, sleeping spot in here and have it uh, two people constantly being woke up by the third one as they go to bed last. Right now, only you know 50 50 50 chance of somebody getting woke up or disturbed. Carter is eating a pumpkin. That can't be. It's not. So I think I'm just going to forbid all of you guys from eating our, our raw stuff. Okay, so I basically just forbid them from eating raw foods, period. And we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't think I've got any vegetarians in here. I'm pretty sure I don't. So that shouldn't be a thing. We've discovered Scarabai officially now. All right, the bug I observed looks like an overgrown version of the pests that's known and hated on many worlds. Giving it a common bug's name felt a bit underwhelming, so I chose the nice-sounding Scarabai. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Unfortunately, it's a lot more annoying than some tiny insect that scuttles through your fridge. This one is a big and impudent enough to attack humans and do some damage. Just talk to Carter about that one. The main problem is that these insects tend to swarm and work together in large groups, so they should not be underestimated. Unlocks a Scarabai statue. That's, that's new. Interesting. So we have had a successful encounter with the Scarabai and Leisure. We get to put a statue up if we choose to. <laughs> wow. Okay. Do we do it right here as a commemoration of the uh, of the attack? That's that's an interesting idea. I kind of like that. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, that'll, that'll sit there until someone gets around to mining some some uh, stone. But okay then, I'll do that. Nobody is allowed to eat raw vegetables anymore. Let's cook them. That means I've got to make a point of leaving Rita alone or moving Paulette into it or even Edmund. I think he had a little bit of cooking skill. All right, so we research. We have insufficient materials. Uh, you're going to sleep, and that's what we have scavenged so far today. Okay. So the goal is to bring this, hopefully this episode, or as close as possible, back to where we were last season, last series, uh, before we shut down for this update. That means we've got to... Whoa, that was pretty freaky. Um, got to get this guy done. And with Simon tackling that, it shouldn't take long at all. Edmund's going to sleep. And yeah, let's look at our farm here. We've got most everything planted. And it's, it's looking pretty good here. You guys are the uh, buttermelons. So kind of looks like pumpkin vines. And looks like corn, looks like mushrooms, and you will be the cotton plants, the cloth blossoms. Okay, so Rita needs to finish the planting so we don't get too far out of sync from thunderstorm. Ooh, I must have my volume down a bit low. I never heard any rumbling. Okay, and I've noticed throughout the last episode this guy's kind of moved in. Hmm... <laughs> so we have one bloated insect. I call them jelly bugs. Whoa. And we've got one... What are these officially called? Flying insects. I call dragonflies. I guess we should observe one and see what they're really called. Um, not much going on. These guys were kept up late. I'm going to leave them alone. They're not going to be triggered officially until 7 a.m. for... 
go out and get some relaxation done. Oh, it's the wind. That's a new sound. Sun peeking through the clouds there. Well, we should start getting some uh, pretty interesting lightning up in the distance soon. And again, as a reminder, our lightning rods, we got one right in there and we got one right in here. Whoa! Ow! Um, he's toast. Okay, lightning is dangerous in this game. Wow! I did not expect that. <laughs> Hopefully I caught it. I guess I caught it through this blur, maybe. Ah. Okay, 7 a.m., everybody's up. Everybody's wet and angry. Edmund is taking a walk. Probably not a wise idea. Um, well, okay, we are protected within... Too bad you can't see the sphere of influence when you... Oh, you can. He was out of it. Got to keep these guys within these two circles. Can I do both? I can. All right, so they should be safe within that range. But yeah, I can hear the wind whistling. I never heard that before. So that must have come in with the update. Drinking? There's a lot of coffee drinking going on here. <laughs> so who is doing that? I want to... Wow, that rain's coming down now. That is Carter. What does that actually do for you? So you're right there. And let's see. Your consciousness is 90%. Because, I'm not sure why, but let's see what it does to you here when you finish off that coffee. Okay, you got that done. And plus 15, enjoyed beverage, right in there. And your manipulation went up 3%. Everything went up 3%. Uh-huh. So it does some good, and I've kind of... Uh, we double click on that now and that who is out and about everybody's home one two three four five we're still within our our sphere of safety are uh, uh, not going to get zapped if we stay in this circle so Edmund is he's, he's risking it but uh, so is Rita yeah Rita why don't you plant that and I think Edmund, actually, he was almost done with that, uh, with that, so he'll be done in a second. That is the cotton. Ooh, you found synthetic textiles. Nice. I do need somebody to pick this up. It is degrading outside. Oh, there's one bug left. Ah, well, we'll leave that for the, uh, for the, for the vultures. Noticed him off in the distance. Okay, so still have a lightning storm, and we found out a few episodes ago, or was that last time? No, it was it was last series. After the storm was done, wow, it's coming down, and it all cleared up, and went sunny, then lightning struck up here. So it can happen for for a little while after the storm ends. There, there, where are we at? Carter is heading up to where that lightning struck that other time. Yeah. Rita, let's have you haul. Somebody already got it. They did. Okay. I need you guys to do things here in the camp. Um, sure. You can come over here and appreciate that. Carter... You can do the same thing. Come on over here and appreciate that. You could use some relaxation. Okay. Let's keep everybody around uh, around camp during the storm. I just got five characters. I've never had that many before. and I don't want to lose any this, this early in the game. <laughs> I really like to see the lightning hit these... Uh, lightning rods, but I, they're part of the electrical system. So I kind of wonder if that's not going to happen until um, until the, there is an electric grid. 
until we get that research done we've got a battery connected to it that can absorb that electricity I would imagine that we give it a quick charge boy this storm doesn't want to end we're already uh, going up on noon so everyone is still kind of hanging around I'd like for you guys to go butcher this guy but um, he's, he's wearing out quickly here but that's where the lightning hit well how, lightning will hit the same place twice right I don't know is there anything else that I can get them to do that's important within this realm? Where else could we put a lightning rod so that we can get off and do other things? We're going to need one up here anyway. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Electric, power, lightning rod. Let's put one in right there. Carter, you can work on that one. And we could put another one in. Um, yeah, right back there. That's where we had put the wedding arch last time. Rita, since... Actually, Rita, you should be cooking. Why are you off doing all these other things? What's going on with the cooking? Cook grain porridge? Why didn't she default to cooking? Let's figure that out, because that's kind of important. Rita, cook. It's your first number one. Why are you off harvesting and and all that sort of stuff? Has there been is the coffee still in the stove and everybody's still going to the stove to get things? No. Wow, that storm just doesn't want to end. Oh, I'm paused. Never mind. <laughs> it's just playing a loop in here. I was thinking, wow, it's getting crazy. Um, Rita, can you make? You still cannot make the butter melt insufficient skill level. Finally, an answer. Okay, Paulette can make it. Yes, she can. But Paulette's busy making crossbows or something. Okay, so Rita, come on out and make us some, oh, veggie soup. Let's do that. That'll keep you busy over there. Okay. Now, of course, Carter is constructing a lightning rod in a lightning storm. Maybe that wasn't the wisest choice. Ooh, it's going quiet. New weapon. A laser pike. Ooh, what's a laser pike? Advanced melee weapon that uses an energy blade to slash through flesh. We've got a lightsaber. Woohoo! Um, Edmund, I'd say that's yours. Can I make you, let's see here, draft, undraft, and wait there, and Edmund, equip the laser pike, and haul the spear away. And Rita will grab that. Okay. Well, wow. That was a great find. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fun. Carter is constructing... Wow, this storm has lasted a long time. This is... Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm the kind that gets up on the roof to watch the lightning storms. Drove my mom nuts. What are you doing up there? Get down, get down! <laughs> wanted to see it okay so Rita is working around you're transporting you're still not defaulting to cooking um meals we're out of meals and I can't get you to default to cooking I'm missing something here and I don't know what it is that is driving me nuts Rita next is it be no it's not like it's being used why don't you cook some porridge now I don't understand why you're not jumping to that. It's not like the stove has to be turned on or there's no priorities. I've got orders in place. I don't know what to make of that. Hmm. I may have to just swap Paulette back into it just because I know it'll get done. Huh. I wonder if a higher skill makes it a higher importance to you. I don't know. 
Okay, well, um... Rita, when you're done with that, it, I guess we can get you to butcher this. And then come back and... Well, well let me set up um, an order ahead of time to make some meat soup. But, okay, she made it, she put it on the shelf. So the stove is not being, uh, you know, held in ransom, except for coffee. Boiled coffee, so apparently coffee is more of a long-term thing. Um, oh, we don't have meat soup in the uh, in the, the queue here, that's what's going on. So meat soup, let's do that. Raw insect meat, it's not going to last long, we've had that rot on us before. So, let's do five of those, until, so there's 50 of them used. And Simon Research, working on construction basics. Let's get fuel in there next. Um, that's not a thing yet. Okay. So I'm going to pause here and think a little bit. Musical instruments were important. The electric grid seems like that's something we've really got to work on and get into. Armor might be a good idea too. It takes two days to do it though. Um, pickling for preserving foods. That's not a bad idea. It's only six hours, too. Now, six hours. And yet, Simon is like a five? Intellect five. Oh, it's right there. So, does that do anything to the time? I haven't figured that out yet. It's always been six hours, even in the last game, when he wasn't this skilled up. So, it's not like it's changing as we as his skill level goes up, but does it tell me what that means? I'm curious. So, intellect. Current level is four. No. Simon and Evan, I'm going to keep getting mixed up. Five. Current level five um, affects the speed at which the survivor researches new technologies, but it doesn't say like it's a 75% faster or anything like that. I was hoping to give me a, a number. Okay. So, researching. That's where we were. And I was paused because I want to go see what they're all doing. Um, so, the electric grid, that's important. Oil extraction, remind me again. So, that gets us oil from the grains. Okay. Um, oil press. So, what was the point? Vegetable oil is probably for recipes. Insect fats was not the fuel. But it does let us do something else with the insects. Okay, anything below here? Distillation. Distillation probably gave us the fuel, didn't it? And Carter last time gave us that for free. Maybe I'll wait and see if that is a thing. See if he gives it to us for free again, if that's just one of the perks for having a Carter around. That might be. So let's get into... Animals, music, hay sausage. Is there any value to that? Culinary exper experimentation, uh, hay into edible meal. I guess it's just something to use your hay for. I can't see it being a, uh, a joy to eat. Was that there all along and I couldn't see it? Okay, you're in. Okay, solve that mystery. And let's throw in this this one and this one. A couple of six-hour ones and just get those done. All right. That's done. There's our beastie. No, that's the small one. That's the pancoth. All right. So you're, Edmund's going to continue scavenging. That's good. Let's get that done. You're just going to devour the rest of our corn plant there, and that's fine. We've got these guys... That are... Does give us a sense of how many days? Uh, not really, but the growth rate from the rain helped us out a lot. Okay. So Carter is up here constructing lightning rods. That's that music, if you've been hearing in the background, that came up just before that bug attack. But it didn't happen the next day. It happened the day after, so I think it's random. That's yeah, probably so. Um, I have to keep an eye on Rita because she doesn't make... She's out there harvesting again. I don't know what to do about that. I want a good supply of, of meals always in, and 
I'm always having to uh, force her to do it. She's too far away, and I need meals for dinner tonight. So, Paulette, you're you're up. So, boy, I wish I could say, you know, queue up this and then queue up. Maybe I can. That and then queue up that and then boil some coffee. Let's see if that works. I don't see any more bug... Oh, there's the bug meat. And there's 97 of it now. Okay. Uh, pause and queue up meat soup. <laughs> She's going to hate me. How are you doing, Paulette? What did I just do to you? You're... Total happiness, no risk of meltdown. Oh, she, yeah, she's she's in great shape. All right, I don't feel guilty now. Rita is happy as can be out there doing her harvesting. That's what she's wanted to do all day long. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. And Edmund was going to be researching our leathers, and I've had him doing the spaceship. I mean, bonus, we got the uh, the lightsaber out of it, but. Uh, Mm. What's left in this thing? 7 out of 10. Let's let him run the day. It's a, it's a quick, easy thing. If I think of it tomorrow, we'll have him out all the way out there doing that research. But he can probably get at least two more rounds in before the night's over. Yeah, I'll leave him alone. Uh, Edmund is handling the campfire. And now he's scavenging again. Oh, that's interesting. Just jump from one task to another. Carter is transporting. So she did some harvesting and left it out here? Or is there still stuff sitting out here? Where's he going? Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is left over from quite a while ago. And what just popped in? One of these must have bounced or something. We have three piles over here. Let's micromanage this and get this done. Can you grab all three? Because this has been sitting out here for a while and it's going to be degrading. So let's watch this. Did we ever get the ones observed? No, let's do that. So, yeah, it looks like you're going to get it all. Great. All right, well, that's done. Rita is grabbing all of these. Are we leaving any around? There's none around here. Did you already walk in and then come back out? You must have. So Paulette is crafting again. <laughs> We're never going to get food. There must be something I'm missing here because nobody wants to cook. Even though I queued all those up, apparently she, after one of them, just said, no thanks, I'm, I'm done. All right, I'm just going to tell you to... to uh, oh... I had coffee in there and we hit a limit? No, we have no meals. Okay, and we have no foods because I told them to stop eating the raw stuff. All right, so Paul up, cook the meat soup, and I'm just going to sit here and, and uh, I don't know, crack the whip or something. Getting, oh, do I need to, no, I don't. You're getting meat, but really you're getting bug. Okay, so you got 10, you got to just do 10 at a time. It's going to take a long time. Transporting the coffee, put that away, and it is still in other. It is. Err. Okay. Coffee goes in this group here. Other coffee. And not. Let's see, other would have been over here. Not coffee. Yep, over here. No other. Okay. Now, what do you do? You just drop that on the floor. No, don't go back to crafting. Get back over there and cook me some meat soups. Where'd that coffee go? Over there. So, yeah, I won't bother Simon. We'll just, it won't, it won't be harmed just sitting out there for a while. Simon is working on our building uh, basics, construction basics. We need that to get the, the cabin laid out to start building tomorrow. Yeah. So let's just watch Paulette and make sure that happens. Transporting all kinds of great stuff in. Edmund, you're bringing in what? Doesn't say. 16. Oh, you found a bunch of first aid kits. Great. We have meat soup. And you are going to make me some more meat soup. Thank you. Then I'll have Rita make some more meat soups. Somebody was happy. 
Um, meat soup, simple meal made of boiled meat pieces. Uh, meat byproducts. And Rita is eating. Paulette is cooking. Hopefully she can get ahead of the curve and give everybody a chance to get something to eat before bedtime. Rita, you can make the next batch, so don't go far. Whine to Paulette about remaining stranded forever. And you are... Don't know what you are. You are going to bed. No, you're going to appreciate a, a mushroom for, for a little bit until you can do one round of cooking before you go to bed. So we've got some uh, meals on the shelves. Carter's going to sleep. All right, so Paulette is done with that round. She's probably going to grab a meal. No, she's going to sleep. Uh, Rita, your turn. Come over here and make some more meat soup. And that should take care of that for a while. What was that noise? Well, they make a lot of noise getting into bed. Edmund's already in there. And where are we now? Oh, he didn't get done. I was so hoping that we get finished. I can lay this out tonight. Oh, well, I'll lay it out tomorrow in the daylight. I guess that'd be better for the video anyway. So what is happening out here? We still have our one bug. Really? I thought that would have been eaten by now. Only 12 left, so we won't worry about it. But So we have, like, two left in here? Yeah, 8 out of 10. Okay, I've never actually brought one of these to a conclusion, so we'll see what message we get when he can't scavenge anything else out of it. So otherwise, for the night. Now, we're on re cooking three. That's nice to see. Uh, you're going to sleep, but out of curiosity, does that mean... Um, butter, mil butter, melon, pie. You can do it. Okay. Um, day nine. I don't know what day it was when all those other animals spawned in. You guys have been here. Although, there's a new baby. There is. It was just the four of them before. Okay. This is the group that the Scarabay ran through on their way to us last time. Anything over here going on that's new? Uh, sleeping bugs are one single of of our uh, uh, Olfen. More of these guys. I got these guys roosting in the trees over here. And I don't think you guys are here. At least not this quantity. So that might be new. Yeah, more of them over there. So, and more of them over here. Yep, I'd say uh, we've got a a migration moving through. No more big chickens. Just this group over... Nope, that's the same ones. So where were the big chickens we saw before? I thought they were kind of up in this area. Are they over here? Or are they gone? They might be gone. Go a little bit further. I don't know. They're heard of those guys. And more over here. So I think some new ones have moved in. And some others are gone. The chickens would always go and pick on people or people. <laughs> Animals uh, bigger than themselves and yeah, they would pay for it. Okay, Paulette is waking up and grabbing one of our last meals. Um, Rita, how hungry are you? You're gonna be fine you, you ah, your rest is close enough let's have you make some grain porridge and then have you make some it says they're already in the queue I'm not sure what that means well let's queue up three different things and see if we can get you to kind of chain cook a few things there so Paulette has been crafting weapons we need to back before everybody leaves we need to think about who needs what. Now, Rita, eventually, I would already queued her up a bunch of things, but if there's still room, I'll toss that in there. And a short bow. She's got a pistol. Edmund's got a bow. And then it was Simon and Carter. Paulette was indifferent. So, Simon, I guess you could also grab 
a... Simon was a 2. Edmund was a 3. Carter was a 2. Alright, so Carter's right here. So you grab, when you're done with that, a short bow. So we get some... Uh, uh, projectile and melee weaponry on us. What else is roaming around here weapon-wise? The spear. So Rita's going to grab one of those. That's it. Okay. So, I guess I had Simon do that, but he's going to finish researching first. That's right. I had the shift found. What is... Oh, it's a bug. Okay. This guy is gone now. And I need someone to uh, bust up some, some uh, rocks. Who best? Carter is taking a break and doesn't really need it. Carter, why don't you come out here and mine some rock chunks for us. And soon we're going to have this guy done. We're so close. Simon is sitting. Does Simon need the break? He really doesn't. He's fine. Simon, go ahead and research construction base. Oh, did you... You were supposed to be doing that. Equip the short bow. Then... What are you going to do on your own? You're going to research. Great. Edmund, you are sitting. How are you doing? You could actually use some relaxation. So when you're done, once you appreciate a shroom... Because there's not much else left to do here. Do we... Oh, wait a minute. We... Oh, we have these guys now. At least we have the dartboard. Where to put the dartboard this time? Let's try putting it on that wall. Right there. So we have a dartboard now. Can, can I put it on the same wall as some of these other things? Will they share? They will not. Uh, construction basics are done. Great. In fact, let's pause for a second. I want to think about things. So we're not going to do the shooting target this time. No, no, not going to do that. That, that. They spent all their time repairing it last time. Um, housing is available and light. Uh, fireplaces and heating are available. Okay. And why have we not gotten back to this? Because we need the stone. Alright, so there'll be a few things to build as soon as Carter is done with this and Carter could actually get to work on the house and Edmund can finish these let's go build a house what are you oh you're, you're over here kind of grazing for us yeah all right so I'm going to recreate what I put together last time and I guess I'll do it on camera anybody new tuning in didn't watch the last series didn't get to see it and I kind of know a little more about what I'm doing so I can show off a little bit <laughs> um, floor and this time we're going to go only the three high because it drops downhill over here and eventually it's a whole lot higher yeah so in fact every time it stair steps so there's three and it gets bigger and bigger then it drops no it does, it doesn't drop all the way till there so there's forced another layer high. Now it doesn't drop down as far as I thought it did. Looks like it steps three times. Okay, so we got bushes there. We want a... How do we want to do this? Let's go there. We're going to go five wide and four deep per bedroom. Plus two on the porch out there. So there's the bedroom. That is six... And we're going to go to 10. That gives us two bedrooms and a front porch. Then we're going to have the hallway in between. And we had stopped there last time just to get this part built. Now that we've got help, let's go ahead and, and go for it. We added six more. So that gives us a 10 by 13. We'll go 10 by 14. That gives us plenty of room. All right, we'll do that right there. Um, and that'll leave with us with one porch going around the outside. Okay. It wants us to put a at least a temporary staircase in just so we can get access to this. And 
we're going to use this eventually as a pathway in once we clear all these trees out so we're going to be heading in from this direction so we could do that or something along those lines or those lines or we just do this right here at the front door okay I think that angle will work better to see everything uh, housing walls wood porch runs pretty much the length though the thought was to put just a narrower porch out this way take you out over I can't see that okay there I will right, we'll just keep swinging around we'll do it this way you're going there and unfortunately I've got to uh, right click and cancel it to get out of that so back to housing wall wood all right one two three four bedroom wow that is kind of a hard to, to get a grasp of where that is okay there we go so there's five total there were four by fives so yeah so you're going there 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 and too wide for the hallway housing wall wood like so though we last time had decided to put a fireplace in there and I kind of liked that we put a double arch and then a fireplace so it was something like that and then shot across and oops yeah I can't I wish there was a way to break and continue without having to go back to do this each time. Wall, wood, you were going to sit, go across this way, and you're actually longer than last time. I did add an extra square in there. So now we are a 4x6 instead of a 4x5, with the thought that that could be an extra bedroom, but we're not going to make an extra bedroom. We need five bedrooms, and we need common space, so that will remain what that is. Okay. So let's go ahead and just throw all the details in right now. Front door. I had kicked it off to the side last time. Just wondering if we want to put a double door in. What that would look like. And you see what I mean by starting off at three logs or, or one high, which is three logs to make that square. How we start adding for the hill and pretty soon we're, you know, we're, we're, we're three times that. So we want to start as low as we can, otherwise we'll be huge over here at this end. Um, doors, housing, doors, eh, wooden door for now. It would look odd having two of them. They don't flip around so they open up from the, you know, like, like this. So we'll just do the way we did last time. You're right there, and I didn't hit shift. So try that again. Housing, door, wood hold the shift down there there and across from you there and let's put an archway in double arch oh wooden there we go you're there and heat fireplace where we're gonna go ahead and heat the building from the common area of the hallway with vents all around but most likely we're going to need to back that up with you know with two of them so another one of those heat light fireplace on the back side of that that works i think it does and let's get the vents in so you are probably there there and there Okay, so that is roughly half of the building at this point. Then we'll figure out windows later. Let's go in with the roof. Right there, wood. And rotating around and starting at three just like that. And taking you out like so. Though I kind of need to see the landing spot. There we go. So with that, we can continue on with another two bedrooms. And whether we're going to go a third bedroom or two bedrooms and another bedroom over here and a little more common space. 
that might be the route to go. Though if we get a sixth person, I guess we can just put a little bump out on the end and put an addition on it later if we get a sixth person. Okay, so that gives us a porch. Get things under the, the roof. The problem with being only one wide is they can't walk past whatever we put here. Fermentation barrels or what have you. But I could put another one out here that doesn't have to be under the roof. That's where it gets expensive, is adding all the rest of it. I think that's 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 a good start. So we're insufficient by 1,255 <laughs> of the of the logs. Okay, so we'll be definitely queuing up some more logs. How soon before Carter? Well, let's just you're transporting. Good. You bring these in, and there they are. And then you should get queued up to go and start building. All right, Edmund is scavenging two more rounds and this spaceship is done. Then we'll have you doing other things. This, buttermelon pie. Okay, so Rita, is she's either cooking on her own now, hmm, or it's still queued up from when I gave her all those orders. I don't know which. I wonder if I had given her orders like two days before and she was still working on that list. Paulette reached crafting five. Nice. So, I mean, she finished something? What do we have on our shelves at this point? Ah, uh, there we go. We have one more bow. What was that thump? So, crafting, buttermelon pie, construction basics. There are better places to sleep in than shelters. Rooms are one of them. For start, we should figure out how to make flat floor foundations, walls, and roofs out of scrap metal, wood, or stone. Of course, we will need doors and windows and stairs and other basic building elements. Yeah. So, handling furnace. That's surprising. Why is Carter handling... Oh, because you just built it. And so, you must just automatically uh, get the order to go and do something with it. Okay. Okay. Um, how many antibiotics do we have? Where is... That's you, right? Ten. Let's queue up another one and one there. Not enough resources. That would be the corn. Okay. You're constructing a statue now. Let's... How you doing otherwise? You're here, um, Carter, there we go. You're in great shape. Let's get started up here. Construct wooden floor. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, you grabbed the few logs we had down here and took them with you. Great. Now what's Paulette going to use? Huh? Paulette is doing what right now? You are observing as you ran out of things to craft. Is that possible? No, not possible. Let's find out what crossbows are all about. Give me five of those. Five? Yeah, five. Let's let's go ahead and we'll have a couple on a shelf somewhere. So Paulette reached intellect three. That's nice to see. And five times you're queued up, Paulette is Oh, I see it. It doesn't mean you finished the job. Um let's let you go back to crafting and Edmund or Simon can work on that uh, something keeps dinging at me I think something here is really wanting my attention if I, oh I can right click them and make them go away oh okay that's that kind of cleans things up are you really eating you really are aren't you you're just gobbling away at that yep Hmm. Okay, these guys like our sweet nectar and they like our corn. So that keeps popping because you're getting it. From where? Is there more? Are there more logs over here? Not that I can see. Well, I guess there weren't. You just got the, the alloy from there. Okay. So Carter is laying out a lot of materials. Good. That's going to go up quickly. Um, Edmund, you... That's Simon. <laughs> You're scavenging. I'm just wondering who I should send in there. Rita is harvesting. 
How are our meals now? We well, we have pies, but that's it. Okay, so we didn't solve anything. Rita, where are you? Actually, you're all the way out there. I don't know how to make her cook. I just don't get it. Rita, your first number one is cook. But you won't default to it. Is there any possibility that someone else could have queued up the stove each time she wants to try to do that? That seems like a stretch. You know, so it wasn't available, so she went off to her first number two. If we had a second stove is where I'm starting to, to track this. A second stove just to make sure that's not possible. That might be a, something to think about. Put a second stove in here. Let's empty and, de and deconstruct both of you. So that's both of them, yeah. They can move the stuff over. We can go ahead and put the other shelves in. So what do we do with Edmund long term? Carter wants to construct that statue. Alrighty. Apparently it's, well, it was queued up earlier or created earlier maybe that's it and if that's the case he's going to do the dartboard next Edmund where do you go I wanted to put the uh, uh, the didgeridoo and the you know the entertainment over here which is going to wake you up if someone does that in the night but if they're cooking late they're going to wake you up over here too um, we could do something like just put up another shelter back here. I guess that's a thing. Edmund, no more scavenging. Where are you at now? You are transporting those, and then let's get you to... Uh, you need a meal. Okay. Let's get you to... Eat a buttermilk, buttermelon pie, and then let's get you in here and cut a bunch of logs. After that, you can cut two of those. You can cut that one. And you can cut that one. Okay. So that's you. But I'm still working on your bed. We're tearing those down. We're going to take whatever... No, we're going to take what was on this one. Copy that. Because we don't want meals over here. And you're flipped over the right way. You are. So you're going to go there and build. And then I can, yeah, Edmund, that's where we got to figure out. So do we pop another one of these shelters over here? I don't want to take out the walls in between. Hmm. I mean, we can pop it anywhere. I'm just wondering what would look good. What about out over here? That's interesting. And I was wanting to play with this a little bit. I thought about something. Here, let me... I'll be right back. Yeah, that configuration right there. I was thinking about that the other day, but I wasn't in game, so I couldn't uh, try it. When you put these two together, they form a box, and you can't put a door into it because at first you don't have the housing basics researched, you know, when you first start a game, be able to pop a door and something like that, and it wouldn't let you anyway. Yeah, it's not that, that kind of structure. So you end up with a box when they're facing each other, and you can't get into them. But if you put one off to the side, then you can, and it, leaves, it gives you a place to kind of get in and, and put your beds over here, and it feels more protected. It isn't. You know, a bug can make its way into there just as easy as here, but it gives a different feel what do we do with something like that I mean it's, it's just kind of a a fun little structure I like it it doesn't fit right here um, and it'd be nice if it stayed within the sphere of influence of this guy let me reverse that open it up in this direction we'll make that Edmunds shack yeah that sounds like fun 
Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Well, this time it opened up from this side. It didn't do that last time. <laughs> How, you're changing the rules on me. Let me try that again. Okay, well, it it won't do what it it did the last time. That's odd. No, that's all it's going to let me do. Now it will not leave that wall no matter how I try to reconfigure this. Okay, well, it still accomplishes the goal. So let's just make a new... Can we make beds? We can make beds. Let's make wooden beds. You can make stone beds. Is there... Let's look at this over a little bit. A metal bed. Dedicated place for sleep provides comfort during rest. It's the same description, so no hint of which one gives you more comfort. It's just the frame that the mattress goes in. Whatever you have the most of on your map, I guess. I like the wooden beds better. Fabric. So, let's let's do that. Let's get these guys some more comfortable digs. Um, yeah, one there. And I guess we could pre-build it so that if a sixth person walks in before we get the place built, it'll be in place. Sure, let's do that. And then, um, build me some to move later. So, pop one in there, there, and there, and there. So there's six beds. Get those built. We'll, build the, we'll move the four into this area over here afterward. And that means that, well, if I can get Edmund to build one of them, then I can get rid of this and put the rest of the shelves in, but I don't want to destroy that until I know what's happened. You are transporting, then you're gonna get some food. Okay, when you're done with that, then I guess I could have you just uh, construct some stick shelters. So Carter, you are building that statue. You are determined to build our statue. All right, so Scarabay statue, a cool decoration. Cool. All right, you are transporting, that's Edmund. Carter, where'd you go? You're constructing a shelter, but I want you building up there. <laughs> oh, well, if I keep queuing this stuff up, you're just gonna keep doing it, so it's not worth fighting it. Just get her done. Simon, could help with the Simon with the construction where are you oh you are the one who are indifferent okay so you couldn't help if I wanted you to but Carter is constructing Edmund is eating then I'll have him maybe start building beds so Edmund you are oh I was gonna have you cut some wood yeah, I think I'll let you continue to do that. All right, so Simon just got the electrical basics put figured out. So we'll read that real quick, that one. Electric grids are not that difficult to make and maintain. Of course, we need a power source to begin with. Why not rig a power cell and draw electricity from it? Then... We will use power poles to connect everything. Electricity will enable us to power up heaters and lamps and stoves. A power cell. All right. <clears throat> uh, we've got a power cell generator, but it requires a power cell. So production, tailor bench, workbench, electric stove, but I'm not seeing the um, soldering bench, whatever we would make the power cell on. Maybe they're just assuming we're going to find one. Unless there's something now with the workbench that I don't know about. So crafting, uh, nothing new there. Ban we never did get the bandages even put in here, did we? Wait a minute, pull back, did I? I did not, so let's make a... Uh, let's click on that again. Let's make sure we always have 10 bandages on a shelf. All right. So that's their um, crafting and anything. That's what I need. Craft weapons. Nothing has changed there. OK. 
Okay. And we have one? No, that's just a regular bow and arrow. Okay, we'll get a pop-up when she... Uh, how long does it take to make one of those? Uh, crossbow. Crossbow is down here. And any sense on timing? Not from this window. Uh, craft weapons, crossbow. Damage, attack rate, hit, chance to crit. Uh, required skill, time to make 10 hours each. Okay. So one of those a day. So crafting is definitely slowed down. Um, Edmund is going to go cut. And I'm going to let him. Well, that's... Yeah. Carter can handle this with the materials that he can find. Edmund can sleep on the ground one more time in there. And so can the rest of us. Alright. So Simon is eating. And Rita is transporting a bunch of pumpkins in. Carter reach construction 5. Paulette is getting food, and then I want her to do some cooking. So can you make us some more meat soups, and let's get the uh, the meat used up. Um, are you working on fuel fermentation? You are. But it'll be a day before uh, we're able to do anything with it. Otherwise, we need more grain cob to make more of our antibiotics. Um, what else happened out here? We have 80 of those left. We have a whole bunch of these left. We have a lot of hauling to do. Um, Simon, you just ate, right? Yeah, why don't you come out and do a hauling job for me? Come out and haul the bush roots. And Paulette is busy, busy, busy. All right, we'll go with that. Rita, you actually could do some more hauling. Yeah, why don't you come out and get the rest of the, the pumpkins? the buttermelons so you have already triggered back to harvesting again you're coming back here to finish harvesting these um all right i'll let you someone else can do some transporting tomorrow but yeah let's let's get let's get the bushes uh, harvested okay so carter is handling a wall torch let's go back to constructing in fact let's throw in this bed under that roof and so you're done insufficient materials scavenged and there so what do we do with our electric grid well this is all happening so what did we get um oh so we've got things added to all the different categories so we've got lights electric lights and electric heater production we got the electric stove. Science, we didn't add anything. Defense, no electric defense yet. Furniture, well, we have the wedding arch. We haven't dealt with that yet. And armchairs, I don't know when those came in. Maybe they've been there the whole time. Housing, nothing new electrically. Storage, no. Ranching, no. Farming, no. Camp, no. All right, so something as basic as a battery, that probably means we have a lot more research to do, doesn't it? Um, well, because of housing basics, we've got brick and concrete, and here's a refrigerator and electric smelting. Okay. Um, things like batteries, wind turbine, solar panel. Alright, to get solar, we need electronics, find or produce. To do electronics, we need the bench. You need electronics. So how do we get the... It's not here, is it? No. I've never actually seen the soldering bench. Electronics crafting. In order to do that, we need to find silicone. Oh, silicone might open up a lot of things. Which means now is time to get this guy researched. Okay, so that's Edmund's task for tomorrow. Head all the way out there at the closest I think we decided it was closer than the one over there and there's nothing out over there all right observe you tomorrow okay so Rita is harvesting and um, I had asked Simon there you are you're transporting all those you got 240 okay 
So Rita is going to harvest, and then are there any more of them? There are. When you're done trans or harvesting, you can then haul these in. And you are noisy. I'm just listening to all the noises. Wow. Yeah, too bad you guys don't have the surround sound I do. There's wings flapping all over this room. Okay, so from up here I can just kind of oversee all that is happening. So I queued Paulette up to go and make some more meals. And I noticed something I had never seen before as I did that. Oh, transport, okay. I had three things queued up and I said there were three things queued up. And now they've gone away. And she's only working on the one thing. Um, Edmund, I queued up, cut this tree, and there's five more, and it's still there. But hers keep going away. Rita is transporting. She's going to get something to eat. Simon Carter, I queued up all the beds, and it's still there. But for pa Paulette, once she's done with this, well, that takes a long time to make, so she's not going to be there... Uh, Actually, that was the last thing I put in. So she kind of skipped everything and went right to her the final one. Hmm. Got to figure out just how the game deals with this. Now, what are we researching at this point? Fuel. Okay. Um, do we want to get more of those foods in? Simon, hate to keep bugging you, but um, there is time and your mood is good and what have you. And this is such a long way out here. Let's bring in the rest of these. So if I do the center one, why don't you haul these in? And I know we're going to have a whole bunch. Actually, there isn't. I thought there would be a lot of uh, berries around. So that can wait for tomorrow for Rita. But Simon, you can do that. Rita needs to grab a meal anyway. And that'll be it for her. Simon is transporting and... That's right, he's got the faster movement speed. So he should be doing the, you know, do some research and go pick up something. Yeah. So Carter is bringing in logs for the beds. And Edmund is cutting down all these trees. I need to queue some more up tonight for him. And I think this will be the last of the extra long episodes. We'll do one more day. And however long that is. We'll, uh, we'll call that done, then I'll get back to my 40 to, you know, 40 minute to an hour or whatever. Two days is what we typically would go last time. And that worked out pretty good. Insufficient storage space, probably for logs? For food? Pumpkins. Wait a minute. Oh, because we are clearing and we never got them built. All right, temporarily cancel the deconstruction. And Simon, do not leave without it. So please go ahead and haul them anyway. So grab those and those and come back for these. Okay, we'll, we'll try that one more time. So drop those right there and haul these and then haul those thank you okay Edmund reach physical three. Oh, Edmund okay not Simon um, all right so you're good there and we still need a thousand tree or wood which means at 30s we need that's 30 right 35 yeah 30 times 30 is 900 so 35 trees Wow I'm doing that right seems like there's an extra zero in there. I think that's right. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Got a lot of trees to take out. Um, Carter's going to sleep. Simon is hauling the last of these in. And once we get those shelves done, Carter's got... Er, Edmund's got a bed. Okay. So, Edmund, you are, new, are the new owner of this bed. Newest one here, and you get the first real bed. 
Lucky you. This gets destroyed. So deconstruct you. Edmund, oh, you're off in the woods. So, yeah, you're, you're needing a good night's sleep tonight. Now, do I need more storage here? I doubt it. I mean, we're cutting a lot of trees. We're going to use it as fast as we can find it. So, yeah, I don't need any more wood storage. And Carter will wipe this out tomorrow. Then if I don't queue up any more building, which I will, of course. Um, Simon hates construction. Edmund is hauling those logs in. We should see this dropping. No, this will go down as he cuts the trees, not as he puts it in. Oh, you're actually dumping it into the building to be constructed. I see. So it's never even going to land in the storage. Okay. There you go. So Edmund, can you tear this apart on your way to going to bed? Then I can lay out these other shelves and get all of our food storage finalized. Otherwise, everybody else is asleep. And... What more? I guess for me, at night, I'm going to queue up all of the trees that I can find that are... 30 or more and not too far of a walk so watch him tear this down and then I will tune out for a little bit and go take care of that how fast does a does a sleep spot go away is it just a tap tap yeah it is all right you're going to sleep and we're done there so this is already set up properly raw food no cooked meals and let's go ahead and put coffee in there too I think that might be wise and eventually tea just in case when this is full and there's nowhere else to put it because that's gonna be a cook stove yeah okay so you uh, there copy and let's flip you over put three triangles in there flip and it's already daytime already sunrise Wow and right there okay so that takes care of these interesting how they the game automatically shifts the height the heights as we go uphill um, we do want musical instruments at some point did that that didn't make it in let's make that happen we're gonna need some more entertainment soon and we still need to be pickling a lot of these things so we can store them yep um, don't need to make emergency rations. They don't get any happiness out of it anyway. We just need to figure out how to convince ourselves to convince Rita to keep uh, keep cooking. I don't know what's going on with that. But we will have the beds all finished today. So as soon as they get up, mark all these for deconstruction. And I'll do more of that. But I'm going to pause here and find all of the trees that I want them to cut down today and I'll be right back all right well there's I think 27 trees so that is you know, on our way toward 900 of our a thousand so this I'll wait till some more of these other ones mature a little rather than taking this further away and but that's definitely plenty of uh, tree cutting to do and that's only the first half of our settlement takes a lot of wood we could be making this out of bricks what are what are bricks I know bricks have something to do with with hay but we don't have a clay that I know of so I'm not sure what you mix the brick or the, the hay with so I'm not sure how you make the bricks yet and we won't know until we get to that uh, that research done anyway Rita is up and cooking okay so without having to tell her, she didn't go out there to immediately start uh, um, harvesting. Okay. So we need to learn more about how the game chooses what she does. So she's cooking. We'll keep her queued up here while we're watching what's going on. Paulette is crafting already. Everybody else is eating something. Edmund still has emergency meals on his list. So let's go ahead and turn that off right there. Um, cooked meals. Come on, where am I? There. Other emergencies. We'll turn those off. He can finish the one that he's on? No, he didn't. 
Oh, I guess I interrupted him, so he's going to drink some coffee instead. Edmund, food. You... I guess you did finish it. Okay, it was enough. Um, beyond that, Simon has taken a walk. We're in that 7 to 8 o'clock hour. They're doing a little bit of... of uh, quarreled with Rita about hunting techniques. That is Edmund. Ah. And Rita is handling the cook stove. So she ran out of fuel. Let's pull her up again. <clears throat> and then one more is queued in already of some kind. And partial fail. Queued none. She is handling a wall torch. So she's on handling now. Because these were cooking. <clears throat> yeah, and there's something in the stove right now. So now she is transporting it out of the stove. And what's she going to do after that? Well, she's bringing the materials in first. And getting some grain. Okay. Now the materials are there. She's pulling the other one out that she already made. And now she's going to work on cooking again. Okay, well... I didn't do anything. But now it's working. At least until I whine to Simon about remaining stranded forever. At least until I uh, get distracted over here, then I find her out there again. So Carter is scavenging. I probably need to turn that off on him. So manage uh, activities. Edmund, scavenging is your first two. So let's get you working on cutting as your first two. And construction, you are not necessarily skilled at it, but make that your first, now make that your first two as well. Uh, we have the new crossbow. Crude, medium ranged weapon inflicts serious bleeding, but has lower attack rates than bows. So it takes longer to fire it, but it does more damage when it gets there. Okay, so you found, ooh, what did you find? You found some alloy. Oh, nice. But it can sit out here. It doesn't have to go immediately into the uh, storage. It's not going to rot. It better not be able to rot. Um, Paula is doing that. Rita is still cooking. Wow. I don't get what happened there, but something fixed itself. Um, those little thumps. I think somebody built something. That's what those thumps are. But every time I hear them, I look around like what what was that what was that it's kind of the wrong noise the wrong feedback for me um you are a deconstruct and can i double click yeah deconstruct all of you guys and paulette you could do that for me do that and that yeah take care of those that way i can queue these up to be moved while everybody else is doing other things without having them walk all the way over here. Okay, so this bed gets queued up and let's see, what am I doing here? That one. Move you in. Now they can't go next to each other like the sleep spots could. You move, so they're going to have to be like that. And that still works. We can get to the shelves from the other side. That's why this is the only configuration that would have worked for the beds. Otherwise something would not have lined up later so you move over to here like so I don't know where the head of the bed is I got all those backwards didn't I I sure did <laughs> cancel cancel you move there's the pillow you move there and yes yeah, sorry Edward or Edmund I wonder if there's an Edward in the game, too. Simon, Edmund, Edward. Yeah. Anyway, move you over to here and flip you around. There's the pillow. All right. Let's try out that all again. You move and flip around like so. And you move. Flip around like so. All right. Edmund is cutting his... <laughs> I've had enough of this. <laughs> uh, Carter's moving him. Okay. So that takes care of all those. Edmund's bed is over there. 
and this is a spare bed. So we're, we're ahead of the curve if someone else wants to jump in. I'm hearing that noise again, but that's the third time I've heard that song without a bug attack. So I think uh, that original assumption is no longer. Um, that's right. I was going to have Edmund instead do some research. We're at 1400 and that's a long walk. So now research wise right there. So Simon is a 5 but Edmund is a 4 so he's a close second. But it's kind of late in the day to make that walk all the way over to these guys to research the pointy red plants at you know, more than halfway through the day. Seems like a waste of a trip. So I'll add it to my notes for next episode and hopefully we can get one of these two over there doing that. Edmund right now is cutting trees and I am very thankful for that so let's just let him do it. Um, the more he can add materials into this the more Carter can walk up here and just start slamming this building together. So that's really beneficial. Um, Rita, ah, I lost track of you. There you are. How'd we do for meals? We got all the buttermelon pies done. And then we quit. We have enough to make veggie soups. And we still have enough to make... Uh, where is that? Here? Where's foods? Um, right there. We have enough to make five more meat soup so there was definitely materials so she made one kind and called it done and moved on and no matter what i do she's going to just stay with that that number two harvesting she's not going to go back and reanalyze her number ones so i wonder if they make just one pass through the day I don't know. I've told her to go back to this many times and she immediately goes back to here right afterward. Or handle. Well, are we done? We have 36 left for picking things up. If I don't queue up any more harvesting, maybe we're done. Planting. Did we get the planting done over here? We did. I'm hearing wind. A lot of wind. I mean, a lot of wind. It's only four in the afternoon. There is something coming in. And that's not a thunderstorm. What on earth is happening here? We're about to get a, an alert of some kind, aren't we? Hmm. Like a dust storm or something coming in. Just staring at the sky couple of times I've looked up in the sky in my life and it was green only to find we suddenly had a tornado alert come across green clouds are associated with tornadoes that was a, that was the strangest thing looked up at you know, what looked like black thunderstorm rolling in then there was these green hues all through the clouds and then the news came over that uh, a, uh, a tornado had touched down not uh, not too far away. Well, 20 miles maybe. And up, 50, 10 miles maybe. In other words, close enough to where it was in our area. And somewhere else that I live where tornadoes were more common, I saw that again. So, But this, no messages. But this just looks odd. Something is building. Uh, Rita's cooking again. Okay. Good news, Paulette is eating. <laughs> Carter, ha, I remembered a funny joke. What? <laughs> what was that all about? Um, was pleased by Simon. Okay. Simon's not around here. Where's Simon at? He's eating. And he's eating too. I wonder if he's going to tell a funny joke when he gets in. I don't know. Simon just laughed. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, the drama. There's the wind again. It is howling. wonder if there's just random weather events that happen that don't necessarily associate with a, uh, with a catastrophic event since the update. That's possible. 
to give a little flavor and variety to the day. Um, one, two, three, four people, and five. Edmund is cutting. Okay, we're done here. Edmund's little shack is done. Uh, the dart board is done. The furnaces are done. The shelves are all done. All right. All we need now is some musical instruments, and we're pretty much caught up. We've got this being built on. Carter's going to go construct till he gets sleepy. Uh, Simon is, or Edmund, is taking care of all of our random cutting projects, getting us caught up there. So if I were to assign him to mining as well, um, activity and mining right there. He, strength-wise, is not too far away from Carter. Make that another number two, and you can just kind of fill in and, and clean up all of these jobs that everybody else hasn't had the time to get to. I like that. And Reed is cooking. Okay, well, we're <laughs> it's working again. All right, good. So, what else needs to be done to clean up this episode? We scavenge those. They can wait to be brought in. Um, no new research. We're getting close to finishing fuel, which means it's a different barrel, I think. It might be these barrels. I have to wait and see. I, th I think it was these barrels. But, um, but what was the other thing we had here last time? It was it was a press. It was a, a press that made fats, fiber or oils, if I remember right. Paulette is going out to get those ores. Okay, so we don't have ore yet. Oh, we made some out of scrap metal. Oh, we made some out of scrap metal. Is that queued up? Alloy from scraps. Okay, and it ran one time. Okay. That's fine. I guess that's the game's way of saying, you know, whether you want to or not, we're going to give you alloy so you can realize what you're missing. That must be it. Um, Rita has taken a walk and needs it. Let's have you... Oh, darts are being played. Okay. And you've probably done the shrooms too many times. All right, I'll just leave you alone. They do need their variety. So the easiest one is the shrooms, but uh, does she get just as much enjoyment out of a walk as she does doing anything else? Well fed. Um, enough. Something's bouncing around. Was, was annoyed by Carter. It's dark. And had a pleasant walk, plus nine. Going to... Oh... I have to reassign beds. Okay, so this, uh, do this this way. You belong to Paulette. You belong to uh, owner. That one was Simon. And this one, Carter, sorry. Uh, this one belongs to Rita. This one belongs to Carter. All right, so everyone get up out of your... Who is that? That was Paulette? That was Simon. Okay. Paulette's right over there. So she's going to craft until she falls over. Lots of foods. We were going to tear this one down and put that stove in. So we'll get back to doing that again. Empty and deconstruct. In fact, we could do that just to get it done. That way I can get the stove set this episode. Let's, um... I can't have you move something, can I? How do we do that? I guess it'll just drop on the floor. So, Paulette, can you deconstruct it? And we'll just see what happens here. I assume that that 85 will just drop onto the floor and have to be transported. But I can't click on it directly, can I? I cannot. There's nothing there about transporting or unloading or moving. Okay. Let's see what happens here. It didn't take long at all. Paulette, do the same thing. You can't. Uh, must be emptied first, but I can't get you to empty it. Okay, do that one next time. Otherwise, sleeping, Edmund is cutting. Um, you did that on your own, so you should break on your own, but it is midnight, and I want you to... There you go, going to sleep, okay. Everybody else 
And Rita did not... Oh, she now owns two beds. That's what's going on. Why not? Let's leave Rita out there. Do you have any interest whatsoever in Edmund? Well, you don't hate him. <laughs> You've had it with uh, Simon and Paulette. Carter is only his father of Edmund, but that is it. Paulette cannot stand Rita. And Rita doesn't care for Paulette or Simon. Simon kind of likes Paulette. They're near each other. And Edmund really isn't uh, interested in anyone. He just wants to be off by himself. All right. Well, in that case, we'll put Rita back where she belongs. And we'll put this bed, assign owner. owner. Um, if I just say... I guess you're just there for the night. Well, I could go this route, forbid it, and then turn it back on again as shared. Okay, you go to the bed that you're assigned to, and everything in the world is back the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. All right, I think it's time to call this episode done. That was another four days? Three or four. I don't know, one of these episodes must have had only three days. We're on day 11 at 1 in the morning. And with that, I'm going to call this one finished. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.